What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and today I have a review of the Schlake El Drador Jungle Creature. That's right, my zillions. Uh, we, El, is it the El Drador Creatures? Jungle Creature? I think it is. El Drador Creatures, a jungle creature. That's right, my zillions. Uh, we got one of these interesting looking beasties. Uh, I picked this up a while back on Amazon and uh, honestly just got around to really playing around with it today. Um, I was looking at it last night and I was like, you know what, I want to play around with this guy a little bit. Especially since I feel like he's a very good looking Skull Island type of creature. Um, so I've been playing around with him with Kong. You can check out my Instagram for some pics of that. Uh, so I was like, you know what? That's it. We're gonna review this guy all right and now. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. So this guy's got a few points of articulation, actually. Um, he's got these big ball-jointed, like, arm things here, too, which are really nice. They feel really good. I mean, you know, they're big, giant ball joints there, but um, it's not terrible. And then the tail moves so that's pretty good so you could get it in a few different positions that's it the jaw doesn't move or anything like that but the three points of articulation actually do help this um uh which is actually really cool so proportions on this thing are really interesting he's kind of short he's got kind of squat ish legs but all these tentacles really uh help you know and this is very much like a <laughs> Kind of like a biolanthi swamp thing esque type creature, and uh, I do dig it. You know, I really do dig it. Um, now, while I was been looking at this line of creatures for a while, I do want to shout out um, Zillion Gary Jacobs uh, for pointing this guy out in particular. Um, again, I was looking at them. I had look saw this one again, but when he showed it to me again, I got it like. I went in and took a better look, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to grab this guy out of all of them um, to give a look to, you know, at some point. <laughs> I don't even know when that was. Uh, but, yeah, at some point, uh, I did. So, he runs you about 20-something bucks, by the way. Good hard plastic. Really nice. Um, solid figure all around. I feel like the, the tentacles are made from the same material here. Nothing like soft or anything um and the sculpt is really nice guys it's a really really good looking sculpt and as you can see it's got like a nice like like paint uh wash to it little uh little lining in there to bring out all the details look at that that is really good so you got the green here which i believe is the base and then uh you know you got the paint over that and then here you got these tree stumpy legs and that also has a wash over it which looks cool he's got you know he's kind of walking inwards his like legs go inwards which is really cool and probably really creepy uh, if you actually ever saw it and i did <laughs> to dig it uh in that way i think it's really great look at the details in the tree trunk legs really nice the nails are you know, done well. They're not a different color or anything, but there is paint on them. Really good looking. You got some swirls in there and stuff. Really does look like bark on all four. Nothing going on on the bottom, by the way. But very nice here. And then the rest is done in this, like, viney green material. It's like he's sprouting up from his legs. Uh, which is very interesting. I do dig it. Very creative. Look at this. If this doesn't remind you of Biolanti, I don't know what will right here. Look at that. The legs are looking cool. This is like Monster vs. Biolanti, guys. <laughs> He's got a lot of thorns, I would say, that these are. Um, at the edges here, they are painted yellow. Uh, there is some scratching to them. It's not quite perfect there the paint but it's there there is paint so I'm not gonna not shout it out and i do like that towards the ends of the vines 
they are painted, uh, they gradate into a lighter green, which is a nice touch. Really nice touch. So I like that a lot, guys. I think it's really cool. I, yeah, these could be a little sharper, but you know, it's like, these are meant for like kids, you know, kids toys. But this is a really nice collectible also. I mean, I'd put this up against a lot of the stuff we've been looking at here and uh, it's really gorgeous. And again, I feel like this is so, so Skull Island-esque, you know? Um, if you've watched any of my lives, I think a couple of times I've said, I, you know, Biolanti for me would make perfect sense to spawn out of Skull Island. Um, and um, yeah, doesn't this look like <laughs> it would do the job? Uh, so I really like it. The tail is awesome. It splits up into two pieces here. And again, you got those yellow spikes at the end. Uh, or bananas. <laughs> or bananas. <laughs> Maybe that's why Kong is uh, all up in there. Uh, you know, uh, these are really nice. These here. Are these Bendy Warriors? It almost feels like a bendy wire here, but I don't think it is, guys. Oh, wait. Is it? I don't want to break anything, but mm, I don't think it is. I don't know. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, the material here on the vines actually does feel a little bit different than here. So, but I don't think it's a bendy wire. It almost feels like a bendy wire, but they I think they could have put a bendy wire in here, but I think I'm just going to stress the plastic and break it, honestly. Uh... <laughs> And I don't really want to do that. So, uh, but you can get some flexibility out of it, which, you know, if you wrap it around something, so you're going to be able to close it up a bit. So that's, that's good. At least, um, a little bit of flexibility, uh, is not bad, not bad at all. So, um, yeah, that actually helps a lot. And this head sculpt is pretty good. The eyes are painted yellow, not super clean, but not bad. The teeth are done in white, not sharp, but they look good. There's a tongue in there painted. Not perfect, but not bad. He's got these like chin hair things, jaw hairs, I don't know. Vines that look really cool. They look like little hands coming out to grab you. Uh, hey. um, the snout looks good. His head is very dragon-like. Is it not? Like, I, it looks like a dragon to me. Uh, he's got more little spikes there. And then this is all woody looking, which is very nice. So it goes up into the brown. I, I do dig it. I do dig it a lot, guys. So, yeah, I mean, sure, these just look like, you know, ball joints popped in. Um, and they didn't do a great job of covering them. But otherwise, you know, and, you know, the paint isn't perfect everywhere. But there's a lot of paint here. And I dig that. I really do. It, it's actually a really really nice piece for your size comparisons here is the jungle creature with a bunch of figures you might have in your collection including the aforementioned sh monster arts godzilla versus kong kong that's that's the kong i was talking about by the way i don't know i don't know if i actually mentioned that but i like them together i really do and my final thoughts, I think this creature is really cool. Um, I think Slate did a really nice job with this one. Sure, the paint is not perfect everywhere, but there's a lot of it. Uh, I'll give him that. There's a good amount of paint on this. It really brings out the details, and that sculpt is excellent. I gotta say, it is very good. Couple that with a few nice choice points of articulation and some, you know, not quite bendy wire, but bendable enough vines there that it makes for some fun posing with other figures. Again, I really like it with Kong, I really do. Um, this is a this is a Skull Island beastie for me from now on. Uh, and there you have it, guys. I really dig this and, uh, you know, might want to check out some others down the line. You know what? Prime points come every month. That might be a cool thing to check out. Do you collect this line? Let me know what I should get next if I do decide to get another one that you would like to see me review, all right? Comment down below, and if you please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peace.